Hey guys, as promised, I told you I was going to fill you in on my last bag purchase of the year. And I literally just made it last night. And I couldn't help myself. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I knew this was a bag that was going to fulfill the desire to buy another bag. I mean, that bag, that desire is still there, but it is kind of like curbing that desire. So without further ado, it's the exact bag I told you guys. I was going to purchase but it's just not in the color i mentioned i was going to purchase i said gray or black or navy because those are the only colors that were out at the time when i saw this bag but since then a couple of colors have come out and um the first color that came out i was like dead set on getting it was just a super pretty light gold and i was like yes 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 that bag is for me but the more i thought about it i was like my makeup is gonna get on that bag just like the little lemon colored the little banana lemon colored um small micro mz wallace that i got i was like the same thing is gonna happen it's gonna annoy me so i didn't bite so then i saw this color and i knew this was the one this is gold too but like burnished gold like if you put like a piece of gold in fire really quick and brought it back out this would be the color that would come out let me try to get closer so y'all can see it's true color this is gold as well um but it's the perfect gold for me i am not going to get makeup transfer on this and if i do the material is like super wipeable so i could just literally take like a like one of those alcohol-free baby wipes, um, one of those really like sensitive baby wipes and just like, I'm gonna try to cover the sun coming in from the window so that it doesn't like glare and annoy you guys. But um, it's made of like material where I can just wipe it off. It's not um, like the nylon, was it nylon? Not nylon. I forget what that other material is called that my little a micro lemon yellow bag is made out of but that's like you know like when something like when you get like something like makeup on nylon and you and you try to wipe it and it kind of like just seeps in deeper like you almost don't even want to clean it off because you know it's gonna like the top layer is gonna come off but you're gonna like push the remnants of that little stain deeper into the material this one won't even this one will just stay on the top like it won't seep into the material like they've got I don't even know what this material is called, but it's almost like a plasticky, not plastic, but if y'all felt the bag, you'd understand. But I just, I don't know the word, so I'm just going to liken it to plastic. Like it's got this like top layer over the nylon that like, oh my gosh, like if you spill anything on this, it would like wick away and you would just almost just have to use a napkin. You wouldn't even need a wipe. Um, you could just use a napkin, paper towel, blot, you know, and then you're good to go. But this is like the same exact design and model as the micro. It has all of the same features. The little dumpling um, shape when you have it buckled down to the sides. It has the untreated leather on the sides. It has the untreated leather on the top, just like on the micro. And it has a little um, untreated um, leather feet on the bottom of the bag. This is a small size, so it has the the, uh, the small deluxe. So it has those pockets. Um, I have my phone in there, but I'm recording on my phone. so my iphone 11 regular 11 fit perfectly and it also has the same exact pocket on the back but i've got the bag so full that um if i put anything back there it would have to be like really small or really flat because it's like i've got her packed down so i'm so happy with this purchase i honestly feel like this is it for the rest of the year um it's november so i hope this is it for the rest of the year i don't really have my eyes set on anything i was thinking about a card holder i did sell my um louis vuitton reverse card holder just because it didn't hold enough and i was missing having being able to have somewhere to put cash and coins but i don't have cash and coins often enough to justify buying like a full-size wallet or buying buying anything bigger than a card holder because cash is like I want to say in a year's time I have cash twice in 12 months like you'll like you'll see me with like a bunch of cash and I'm like trying to get rid of um because I don't have anywhere to put it or a wallet big enough but I did but I did purchase the coach like little zip around coin pouch it looks like the Louis Vuitton zippy and I have that now so when I do have cash and coins I can just use that but you know all the other months of the year when i don't have cash and coins i have started to use my lv6 key as a wallet because i don't really have that many cards and i don't really use it that often but for some reason i don't want to get rid of it 
um, they're really, really hard to come by. And with price increases and everything, I think it's like the perfect alternative to a wallet, just sticking some cards in the back of it. I got my keys, I got my cards. And so I think I'm good with that for now, unless anything changes. The only thing I can see myself buying, um, uh, the only thing I could see, my, see myself buying between now and the end of the year would be a card holder. And I did have my eyes on the coach, that really cute, just plain black one with the gold C, maybe that one, or maybe a Gucci or a Louis. I don't know. I'll keep y'all posted if, and I'll, I'll of course review it and reveal it here if I do end up making a, um, another purchase before the year is out. But it is, it's giving speedy vibes. If you guys can feel me on that, it's definitely, um, like the same size as a 25. So like if I had a 25, like I feel like this would be the same size. If I was, if I had my mind I, and my eyes set on a speedy 25, this, or if you do, this bag purchase would be a good test to see if, um, all your stuff would fit in a 25, how you felt with a 25, if it, if it, uh, matched your body proportions, if you felt like it was just too small or too big, this would be a good, um, not dupe, but a good alternative to purchasing a speedy 25. So while we're here, I might as well just do a what's in my bag um, to show y'all what all I've got fitting in it. So this is what it looks like. I mean, it, it's so dark and y'all can't really see in there. So I'm just gonna start taking everything out one by one. So I have a pack of tissues in the front. Y'all know I can't live without them. And then I have my six key and it's stuffed with cards. So it was like a little bit thicker than normal, but I literally never use it. And I'm like, I only have a couple of cards ever to take with me anywhere. So I might as well just use my six key as a wallet. And I think it's a genius idea. So this is what I've been using as my wallet. This is my keys in my wallet. And because I just happen to have cash on me right now, I bought a Lily um, tablet holder or yeah, it was a tablet holder on like an iPad case. Um, and it came with this little like mini pouch and I had like, I had literally no use for it. So I put the rest of my cash and my coins in here until they're all gone, until I spend them up. And then another another thing about the MZ Wallace bags is that they come with this um, pouch that you can actually fold your bag up and put it in here. Like if you wanna take it on you, take it with you on a trip, you can just fold your bag up. This bag fits in this pouch and then the pouch it's got a little D-ring on the side and you can attach it to the inside of the bag. And I'll show you that in a minute, but it just says MZ Wallace with untreated leather on the front of the pouch. And it has the same untreated leather on the zipper pull. And then it has this really sturdy, durable zipper. And then that's what the inside of the pouch looks like. Um, it's really, like it's a good, it's not like, it looks flimsy, but if you felt it, you'd be like, okay, yeah, that's, that's a good pouch and it's just I like how malleable it is that you can like stuff it to the gills and that zipper is going to zip for you almost every time I don't want to say every time because if you got it so packed it may not zip but um I was thinking like putting like a now that the weather's getting chillier here in North Carolina I was thinking about putting like a scarf in there in case I need it some sort of like like a little extra layer for myself in case I need it but um but yeah, this is the little pouch that comes with the bag. Um, they come with all the MZ Wallace bags except for the micro. My micro did not come with one because it's so tiny. Like, I think that's why, because they're so small. But like from small size bags on up, medium, large, whatever, you will get a, um, an additional pouch. And also the, um, the zipper pull has a little piece of gold hardware on it. Let me try to get in there so y'all can see it. And then that's what the underside looks like of it light gold hardware. I love the light gold hardware on these MZ Wallace bags. And then I have my um, Longchamp pochette um, filled with like my, my girly stuff that I need right now. And then I have, of course, my Gucci. Y'all, the name is so long, I don't even know what the full name is of this pouch. It was like Gucci Ophidia GG Supreme or something like that, cosmetic case or whatever. Love this, love, 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 love this. Um, filled with like Walgreens, I always say that because it's like all the things that don't get messy, like band-aids, extra chargers, stuff like that, because the inside is not wipeable. So I don't put anything messy in it. Oh, I do have cough drops in it, but hoping that that won't matter and they won't like, the weather's colder so they won't melt. So I thought that cough drops would be okay, but I do have cough drops in there too. And then inside of MZ Wallace bags, they have this little like dog leash, like little key clip. 
and that has a piece of untreated leather on it too in the light gold hardware um, and that you can attach the pouch to that's how it came when I bought it like the um, the pouch was attached to that little this little clip piece right here but I un unattached it um, I took it off because I didn't need it, but then I attach, I'm always looking for my AirPods, always go missing in any bag that I carry, unless it's right on top. And usually if I put it right on top of my bag, like it's hard for me to zipper the bag. So I put this at the bottom and then just attached it to the little, to the little leash thing. So now all I have to do is like reach for this on the inside of the bag. All I have to do is reach for this and I know that my AirPods are attached to it, but they are my AirPods on this cute little Starbucks charm. And then what else do I have? I have my um, Coach Nolita 15 filled with like all my messy stuff like makeup, lip products, nail glue, um, a Tide to Go pen, some extra press on nails because these are press on guys. I do not go to the nail salon. I do my own nails. <clears throat> so like all my lip products tied to go pen stuff that like I don't mind getting messy this is this is not wipeable um material either but it's coach and I don't mind it getting dirty um this wasn't like coach is not cheap by any way it stretch by any stretch of the imagination but I wouldn't mind this getting dirty versus my Gucci I would feel a way if this got dirty on the inside because of the price and because I just want to treat this a little bit kinder than I do this piece although this piece I use this piece more but still y'all know y'all know if you had both pouches you would treat that one a little bit better too you know so that this has all my messy stuff in it and then I've got my portable um power bank that I use um I get off work here at one o'clock and then I I nanny for a family one day a week so I like to have additional power usually I would get home pretty early and I wouldn't need to recharge um by the time I would need to recharge I'd be at home but because I don't go right I don't go straight home certain days of the week I like to bring this in case I need to charge up midday and I usually do by the time I get to their house around 1 30 I'll go ahead and give my phone another quick little charge to get me through the rest of the day slash evening um and then I've got my Trader Joe's um guava hand cream and then oh I didn't even realize that was there so they, there's a back wall pocket, a back zip wall pocket with um, untreated leather and it says MZ Wallace. And then right below it, there's like a little flap and I didn't even realize that was there. I don't think I would use that for anything because my pouches are gonna be in the way of that. But on the other side is where I had my tissue and my six key. And that is rimmed with untreated leather as well. And then the back zip is the light gold hardware. And I think that just says MZ Wallace. And then I love the in, inside of MZ Wallace um, zip pockets, like back wall pockets, because they have like organization in them. Like, so in this pocket, there is hand sanitizer. And in the other pocket right there is, what's that? Oh, my Starbucks gum. And I love Starbucks gum because it doesn't have any, um, any aspartame or sugar. It's just like plant-based sugar love that so this is like the only kind of gum I will chew I don't typically like Starbucks like gum in any way I just like a quick mint breath fresh in my breath and then that's it but I don't mind actually chewing that for a while and then spitting it out after a while I just I don't know I just don't love gum and then I've got some um wet ones hat like literally cannot live without some sort of wipe to wipe my hand like if my hands are dirty sanitizer to me doesn't do the job like I need a wipe then I sanitize and then I put lotion on I yeah, I'm crazy like that. But this is what the empty inside of the bag looks like. Come on, light. Help me out. Yes, light. This is what the inside of the bag looks like. And it's the same material as inside of the pouch, that little additional pouch that comes with the bag. It, like, if you felt it, it almost kind of feels velvety, but it's not. It's like really, really, really good nylon. If you've ever felt really good nylon, you'll know what I mean. I felt the gamut of nylon because most bags on the cheaper side come with like a nylon interior that you can you can wipe it and you're fine but like mz wallace bags come with like this super high quality nylon and it feels so good i noticed that last night when i opened it for the first time i was like wow i've never felt nylon feel so durable but this bag in itself is like it's i mean look at it it's the cutest thing i left the um the crossbody strap at home because i don't ever intend on wearing that i was gonna get a chain 
um, a chain strap on Amazon to go with this bag. And I was thinking about getting like a chunky one to just drape across the front. This is the front, to drape across the front of the bag. And then if I wanted to carry it on my shoulder, I wanted to carry it like very short. I didn't want to carry it like long or anything like that because it's so big and it will like jut out on my hip. I wanted to carry it like kind of closer to like my chest area, like as like a, like an armpit bag, if that makes sense to y'all. But yeah, um, this is what the bag looks like. And I took the, the clasps, the clasps off the sides to make it not look like a dumpling, but this is what it would look like if you wanted to carry it crossbody, if you're that girl that wants to carry a crossbody. I think I will sometimes, like dependent, like if I'm traveling, I would definitely take the crossbody strap that it comes with. It's a super cute um, nylon, like, and guitar strap, and it matches the bag perfectly, and then it has gold hardware on it and the untreated leather on it as well. Um, but this is what it looks like if you want to carry a crossbody. And then if you want to just carry it like speedy, I don't know, like top handle, I, call, I always say speedy style because that is like the iconic top handle bag is a speedy. And this is what it looks like on my arm. Slides over perfectly. This is what I wore today to work. I mean, it's going to be chilly here in North Carolina. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I wore a vest because this afternoon is going to be really nice. And I, I nanny in the afternoons. And I know me and my baby, the little girl I nanny with, um, we're going to get out and get some sun and walk around and stuff like that. So I didn't wear a super heavy jacket. But even if I did, I feel like this would slide over pretty well. So, And I'm my arm is not small in any way, shape, or form in it slides up way way far on my arm i also didn't have a hard time with the micro bag either it slid up i want to say i was able to carry it about here and the straps were a lot um the, the strap drop was a lot like shorter on the micro but this is the small satin deluxe so glad i added it to my collection so glad i waited for a color and a material that would work for me um because i knew getting another lighter bag would make me crazy and in that other material that the um, the other bags were in. I knew like, it's gonna have stains all over it. You're gonna carry it for a while. It's gonna get flung to the side. You're never gonna carry it again. And it's gonna be a waste of money. So definitely, I mean, I know, I, I'm a bag girl, y'all. That's why y'all are here. I love making bag purchases, but I'm also getting to the point where I'm like, so excited that I kind of wait to make sure that the purchase is right for me so that I'm not wasting money and that it works for me. And I'm also waiting for the color I want. I'm not so like anxious to get a bag that I'll just get any color. I wait for the right color, the right material so that it works for me and my lifestyle. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know like you always do. My channel is growing. I'm almost to 400 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I know I don't upload often, but I appreciate your patience. And as I purchase more, um, I will upload more if y'all want me to do, you know, like side-by-sides, comparisons, let me know. I'd be happy to do those too, but have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!